Hello, today we're going to be learning how to make a prettier chat print by defining our own custom functions on the player. Hello and welcome. Before we get started, let's just make sure we have our file situated here. I have our sv underscore tutorial dot We have one hook here, which is our player spawn, which gets called whenever the player spawns in and we can get the player that spawned in and we can call chat print in just saying that this player spawned in. Inside our client side folder, we just have one simple print here and nothing else. To explain what we're going to be doing, we're going to be appending functions onto the player meta table so we can create our own functions just like chat print, for example. Our goal of this tutorial is to create a nicer chat print um, that looks a bit prettier because if we go in game right now and die, spawn in, you can just say hello, you just spawned in and it doesn't look that pretty. What we're going to do here is we're going to look up the meta table of the player and to do that what we're going to do is we're going to store it in a variable. So we're going to say local and um, I usually do this with underscore p just for player and we're going to say we're going to assign this value uh, find meta table and then we're going to look up player. So what I want to do now is whenever I define this function you could do something like this normally like pretty or I don't know uh, send notice right and we could pass in a player and the message and then we could do something like poi chat print or the message and then inside here now we could do something like this send notice to the player uh you just spawned in you can now see it just says you just spawned in and that works just fine however i want the syntax and the style to be written like this so the way we can do that is since we have this meta table here we can actually go function underscore p colon and then we could say send notice and then a message and end. And you'll notice how are we going to call chat print on PLY if it doesn't exist in this case? Well, we can actually reference self, which will be the player that we're referencing at the time of when we call this function. So if I do self chat print, we say message, that will basically do the same thing as this. However, we don't need to pass in PLY. We can remove that from our first argument since we're no longer going to be calling this function. Now we can do poi send notice you just spawned in. So now if we go in and die, we should probably have the same results, which we do. You just spawned in. Excellent. So that works. But just to make this worthwhile, we're going to go ahead and spice this up a little bit so we can get some uh, colored prints going. So what I want to do now is actually use networking. And I'm going to go ahead and store this inside of our send notice. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and just add a network stream. And we'll call this. Um, notice underscore send then what we'll do here is instead of calling chat print since we don't want that anymore because that's kind of ugly we're going to do net dot start notice underscore send and we're going to do net dot write string the message then we're going to net dot send it to poi then on here on our client side file after we send this net message we're going to go ahead and receive it so we're going to do net dot receive the same name of the net message that we sent and we're going to get that string that was sent. So we're going to say local message equals net dot read string. Then we're going to do chat dot add text. And we could say, for example, something like this, we could pass in a color here. Actually, it's better off to cache this up here. We do local color uh, uh, equals, and we'll just say red for now. And we could go something like this. You could say uh, notice and then color underscore white for the text after the notice. So now if we do that, go ahead and save that. Um, and we go ahead and now run this, just making sure everything is okay here. I die, spawn in, and uh, unfortunately we got an error. Uh, bad argument, send entity expected got nil. Oh, it's because I was referencing PLY and PLY didn't exist because in this case it will be self. So, excuse me. So if we go ahead and die now. Notice you just spawned in. Also, let's just go ahead and add a quick space to that. And we'll do that one more time. And now we can have a fancy little chat print there um, by using our own function. So now anywhere server side, we can call said notice on any player just like that. So that's how you define functions on the player meta table. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, I'd recommend giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. And uh, hope you guys take care. Bye-bye.